What's up everybody? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. It is about 10 minutes until 11 in the morning on Saturday, March 11th, 2017. That means today is the third birthday for River Rat Brewing, River Rat Brewery here in Columbia. So I'm going to be hanging down there in a little while to check out the goings on and the celebration there. Uh, it's maybe just a hair chilly yet here in Columbia, South Carolina, but uh, it's going to warm up into the low 60s, so it's going to be a beautiful day. You can see it's nice and sunny, beautiful day to be outdoors. They have a, a nice big... Uh, Nice big outdoor space for everyone to uh, enjoy. And I think that recently got uh, enlarged and upgraded with some additional seating and the like. So uh, get to check that out as well as the, their whole expansion. They did an ex expanded uh, production area, I believe, as well over there at River Rat. That got done sometime in the last, uh, in the second half of this past year. They were working on it when I was at River Rat last in, um, in April. So get a chance to check that out and check out a bunch of uh, really great beers for River Rat's third birthday. So let's uh, go ahead and check it out. So indeed, you can see it started out as a beautiful day there in Columbia. And uh, eventually it did cloud over just a little bit, but you can see by mid-afternoon, a very nice crowd had showed up there at River Rat Brewery. And River Rat gave you the option of buying pints for 4 or $5.00. A piece or more of a festival style option where you paid a flat fee and got a, a four or five ounce glass and could sample as many of the beers as you liked. And that's what I chose to do. So when I got into the festival, I made a mistake I know I've made before with River Rat Brewery. Um, I get in, get my, uh, get my glass, pay the, pay the flat fee, get my, get my glass. And, um, I'm pouring over the, the, the beer list, the 30 beers, and I find, uh, a sour they have a uh, a sour cherry beer called sucker punch and i know i've, I've done this before but, but i feel sours are normally relatively low abvs and so i'm like hey, I'll, I'll start off with uh with that and i drink it and it's great but it's much more much boozier than uh than i anticipate and i do a little bit of research and find out it's 12 percent abv uh so at that point i just decided i uh, that was my first beer of the day but i figured i'd just kind of do the uh the heavy stuff, uh, higher gravity stuff, barrel aged, a um, couple other things like uh, the winter warmer they had from last year. I wasn't a wasn't a real big fan of it, but um, I think that's just kind of my uh, my aversion to to those kinds of beers. It was a lot of cinnamon to me and a number of few other spices, um, so it just wasn't quite my thing. But um, an excellent uh, stout from. Uh, collaboration with River Rat and Cigar City. Um, uh, Barrel-aged Imperial Milk Stout. That was also very good. So that was kind of the first hour of my... Uh, first hour or so of my time at River Rat. Then I took a break and then went on to some other things. All right, this is the uh, 2016 edition of the uh, Monk's Abbey Ale from River Rat. Uh, it's not quite as red as it looks here on the... Um, on the video it's a belgian double let's uh try it out mm. nice sweetness bit of dark fruit uh pretty tasty mm. there's just a mild booziness to it I've been having a number of free boozy beers so far, so I might be underselling it a little bit. But uh, really tasty, the Monk's Abbey, 2016 Monk's Abbey from River Rat. Immediately after the 2016, I had the opportunity to try the 2015 Monk's, uh, which was also very good, very similar as expected, but a little, a little bit boozier, a little bit more of a dark fruit note, kind of a fruitcake thing going on, but really, really a terrific beer. And then later on, I tried a few of their uh, lighter as well. I started with uh, their, their kind of core IPA, um, which is really terrific. Um, followed by a pineapple pale ale, which I was a big fan of. Again, I'm a big uh, big fruity pale ale fan. Uh, tropical fruit, citrus fruit, I'm very much right up my alley. And a couple other things, uh, blackberry saison and uh, their lemon wheat beer. I think I was just getting into some uh, palate fatigue by that point. I sampled at least a dozen of their beers by that point. 
So, um, I enjoyed them. Didn't get a, a, a ton out of them, to be frank. But I, again, I think that was more uh, me than the beers. So that, in summary, was River Rat's uh, third birthday party. Uh, really great time. A lot of great beers at River Rat, as as expected. So, um, I had a real great time. I want to offer my congratulations to those guys. So that does it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary, special videos like this one, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find all those links and usernames in the description below. And if you are so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.